All right. So, The Last of Us 1 was a great story and was timeless. It was like 11 out of 10. Uh, so, why was the TV show like only like a 7 out of 10 then? Um, I think it's got to do with all the woke shit that was added. Like, it had several changes. Um, uh, it included the degenerate woke left behind, which has like a lesbian underage interracial romance which in my opinion is not far off the same arguments of Foucault to abolish the age of consent um it, oh, a ton of race swapping yeah like like an absolute ton of it like all for just you know unnecessary degenerate Marxist grievance reasons I assume um, uh, Joel's daughter was race swapped and Maria was uh, race swapped um, on the subject of Maria they made the Jackson community communist for some reason and it's you know communist totalitarian leader was the black race swapped Maria for some reason <laughs> Like, there's obviously some weird racial Marxist step on me black lady vibes going on with the, you know, the woke ass writers there. Look everywhere. And what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, mid season, they added, like, a completely unnecessary, weird military Karen. Uh, because reasons, I guess. Like, she wasn't smart or competent. I guess she was kind of ruthless, but like, okay, are you trying to show competent women? She wasn't exactly competent. Um, they also made uh, Sam deaf for some reason, possibly uh, disability diversity. Like, I hate to break it to the writers, but disabled are usually the first to get eaten in a zombie apocalypse, closely followed by like obese feminists and then drag queens in silly stilettos and pumps that can't run away like come on guys like what are we doing also like clown makeup and drag queen makeup aren't exactly camouflage for the zombies uh what else uh they decided to make tests uh, unattractive with like big wounds on her face for most of the season like no offense to the actress I don't know if she's pretty or not she was wearing a lot of makeup for a lot of the season I'm pretty sure it's like a progressive thing to make you know women unattractive in video games these days for representation for ugly people I guess I don't know um what else they added uh, the horrible progressive wet dream gay love story between Bill and Frank and like within that love story oh oh my god they then got gay married because apparently Marxists hate Christianity I guess like they could have just had a civil partnership it's the same thing why do you want to transgress on Christianity it is giving you the free west uh and then the the gay married couple uh, commit euthanasia, suicide on each other. Yeah, I'm sure centralized totalitarian communist states with socialized uh, healthcare systems won't abuse that shit idea in the future. Uh, Canada. Cut. Oh, and the the super narcissistic shit writers that made an absolute mess of an 11 out of 10 story. They made one of the gay men in that relationship like a clear conservative Republican, like the competent one that built all the traps and everything. Like it wasn't just, you know, crazy Bill. So in essence, they took out a critical story point of Bill deliberately being a loner that destroyed his relationship with Frank which was meant to be the archetype for Joel's arc with Ellie 
Like, that was meant to be his conscious mind deliberately trying to get rid of Ellie to protect himself from losing his daughter again. Like, a critical arc of the game story. They took that and they blew it out into this big, retarded, progressive, just preach, which is just, you know, shit. Like, oh, complete with, like, gay sex scenes and, you know, mouth kissing. Just completely unnecessary. Like, no one wanted it. And they just jammed that in there. They, they butchered the story to jam that in there. Uh, and that, like, brings us to, like, Bella Ramsey. I'm not going to go too hard on her, because she's very young, and she's probably been very badly indoctrinated into all this shit. But she was, like, very public about chest binding there for a while. And, like, oh, just the whole trans issue with the chest binding and the double mastectomy and... Uh, it, it's like a pseudoscience that's just, you know, like, if you guys go back to the twin study, like, both of those twins, like, self-unalived themselves. Like, there was, there was nothing successful about either of those, what happened to either of those twins. Like, the money dude who'd done the study, like, he was, like, suggested he was, like, a fan of the playground. He, he took all these photos, he made them, like, role-play in sexual acts. Like, with their clothes on, but, you know, still. And it just comes across as all this, like, narcissistic, you know, degenerate, like, perverted control. Like, it, it doesn't strike me as, like, academic at all. It's like the cornerstone of their entire theory. It's like obvious pseudoscience. And, like, oh, it's getting pushed so hard. Yeah, just nuts. But yeah, Bella Ramsey, she's very open about chest binding. I liked her in Game of Thrones too, which is a shame. She done a good job here uh, with the material she was given, but yeah, like the fact that she's all in on the chest binding. I don't know if it was just, you know, so she could get the role, but you know, yikes, yikes, like the progressivism, uh, the normalization of mental illness. Mental illness leading to self-mutilation. It's, it's not good. Like, none of it's good. And, like, that's what they felt like putting into this story. All that progressive nonsense. But, but yeah, despite all of that, some of the original source material shines through. Probably like a 7 out of 10. Like, Bella Ramsey did do a good job with it, but... Yikes. Like... Okay, so season two is gonna be a shit show of progressivism. Like, I am... I can make good cases for and against The Last of Us Part 2 being good. Um... The bad parts are you have the traditional conservative father in Joel who was the protector and defender of individualism tortured to death by an androgynous queer theory hero because he hurt a collective ide ideology. Like, ugh, that's, ooh, that doesn't feel good. That's, like, very creepy. Then you have Lev. By the way, you didn't need to push the gender angle on Lev. Lev could just have been a tomboy and, like, an Ellie surrogate. It could have been fine, but they've got Lev now gender-confused, as if they're not, you know, pushing that hard at all. Whatever happened to, you know, tomboys. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. Uh, the Marxists also straw man uh, Christianity in the first season. They make the pedophile cannibal David 
um, into like a semi-religious figure, pushing Christianity, uh, beating people, like ruling with an iron fist over his community for some reason. Like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you want to talk about centralized control in a community? You don't want to talk about, I don't know, Marxist control in like China? Where they like beat people into submission and like uh, in like friggin' shaming ceremonies and all that sort of thing. You don't want to talk about, you know, pogroms in Russia, the same thing. You don't want to talk about, you know, the abuse of the Kulaks in Russia, which is the same thing. Like, just this straw man of Christianity and this like Marxist projection onto it. It's just. Ah, oh, creepy, creepy Marxists. Right. Just pieces of shit. Yeah, so now, uh, yeah, the, the pedo cannibals are Christian for some reason, and, um, yeah, he rules with a sort of iron fist. Um, not at all like Stalin, not at all like uh, Kim Jong Il and On. Uh, no nothing like those. It's not at all like Mao during the Cultural Rev Revolution. Um, yeah, it's, it's, he's not like a party member abusing his community at all. Like, none of that. He is his own thing. It's very, very Christian. <laughs> he, he doesn't turn the other cheek or anything. Uh, he doesn't take disrespect well. Um, yeah, very, very Christian in general. <laughs> Oh, and let's not even, you know, talk about queer theory and old Foucault and his being a fan of the playground and, yeah, and Sanger defending, you know, fans of the playground and all that sort of lovely little stuff that they try to mix in there with maps and all that sort of thing. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, not look at that projection at all. Oh yeah, and the season two's got the old, you know, bisexual Dina with the, you know, love triangle thruple with Jesse and Ellie and uh, all that, uh, you know, totally justified sexuality and promiscuity and feminism and all that wonderful stuff mixed in there. You know, take that, you know, traditional, traditionality. Take that, traditional values. Yeah, you deserve it. You've given us nothing but pain. <laughs> like, look, the, if we're being honest too, the, the Seraphites are a little bit of a straw man of Christianity too. They're, they're like, central figure is like a, a martyred woman that turned the other cheek, that was able to commit, you know, um, perform miracles and, and, and that sort of thing. And now it's led to a hypocritical, militaristic, uh, people. Yeah. Like, okay, that's more Islam, isn't it? And their head figure wasn't a martyr, it was Muhammad, who was like a warlord and had a child marriage. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be more appropriate? Instead they straw man Christianity, because of course they do, because they're dirty Marxists. Like, all of their art is just, it's really quite ignorant of history and facts. It's like, okay, you can be inspired by things, but shouldn't you try to represent them as well as you can? Like, that's just a misrepresentation. Like, it doesn't even make sense once you put it into historical context. Like... Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're gonna make a tribal warlike people that were backwards, technologically speaking, but also hypocritical... Uh, yeah, I don't think you'd choose Christianity. Like, Christianity has, you know, given rise to... Well, the free west. The free west. Human rights everywhere. Uh, English Common Law, the American Bill of Rights, including their First and Second Amendments. 
What, 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 what are you, what are you doing? You, you, you guys don't understand the functioning of things. Like, you're making it seem as if Christianity has, you know, caused like global terrorism and is trying to spread in the form of a caliphate everywhere and yeah it just you got the wrong religion guys you really do and like that straw man is like harmful like had the seraphites like lead figure been like a warrior and had like many wives and had the sexual prowess of a hundred men and all that sort of thing then the seraphites would have made more sense but like their head figures basically a knockoff type of Jesus like she was meant to have been able to perform miracles she was martyred and she turned the other cheek and was like an innocent and godly figure okay doesn't make sense guys doesn't make sense in your in world the principles don't align the values don't align there you know it's like just bloody marks a subversion a lot of it
I got it! <laughs> 